now there's no AAU, there's no, nope. there's no nothing, there's no high school ball. I know you say you were in some of your best shape. Yeah. Um, what were you doing during that year? I was and just, was did you have a junior season? Because nope. we know there was no AAU, obviously, so there was no junior season for you nope. as well after that sophomore year, sophomore summer, no junior, no junior year. So now what are you doing during that? That's a basically like a nearly an eighteen month hiatus of no basketball. So what you doing? Push ups, pull ups, dips. Waking up six o'clock, going to mount, weight room, running the track. I put on a good ten pound and. At the time, like, summer came and every park was shut down. They took the rims off. And the only park that was open was the park up my block, PS87. Mm -hmm. And they still left their rims up? They still left the rims up. And everybody was coming there. And I just felt really different. Like, I was moving people. I was hitting them. Like, I just felt different. They didn't want to touch me. I was, I just felt it. And I remember going to my dad, like, yo, I feel them. Like, I don't feel nothing when I go up. When they're hitting me, I was just in crazy shape. And that whole summer, I was just going at it, waking up six o'clock, putting up shots. I was just very active. But then when junior year rolled around and like school started again and we started going up and down because the gym was open, obviously, I lost all that weight so fast, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. fast. Gosh, so you was able to pack on them pounds because you wasn't moving around as much. moving around as much, yeah. As long as you started moving around, gotcha. With all of that happening, losing your sophomore summer of AAU, losing your junior year, lo losing sophomore year playoffs, how did you feel at the moment when, when we had this thing just come through and ravish everything? I was really down. I felt like at that point I really wanted to reclass because to do something, I thought my recruitment would be done. but. Uh, thankfully, my coaches had good connections. I started getting like baby offers, not baby offers, but like offers from good, decent level schools from the MAC conferences and stuff. So mm -hmm. I picked up my confidence a little bit on everything. But I was really down. I thought COVID was never ending, ever. Cause mm -hmm. I, it was just kept spreading and spreading and spreading. So I thought it was gonna be like that forever. No junior year season, no senior year season. But Did it have your anxiety up at any point? Like having you a little nervous about what what your future can hold, what, you, what, what, what your future holds, and knowing that you had no control over over it to For that sure. degree. For sure, but like, you're not gonna be able to dribble the ball forever, but you know, like I would call myself a bright kid. I don't have to only fall on basketball for it to like put a name on me. I can do other stuff. I'm good at video games and stuff like that. Like, basketball doesn't define me. I'm good at other stuff too. So I wasn't really just focused on, dang, I can't play basketball no more. I was sad, it was devastating, but I still got other stuff I can fall back on. So. That's thorough, that's thorough, man. And that's good that you do have other stuff outside of basketball to fall, fall back on. You played your junior year, spring and summer, with Riverside Hawks now, uh, after the virus starts clearing up a little bit, 2021 summer. Um, why did you decide to hoop for them? And how was that experience? Um, I feel like <laughs> I kind of owed Riverside to play with them because as you know, there was a little politics beginning of ninth grade AAU. Mm -hmm. I was like with Riverside or I was with D1 and YC. Mm -hmm. And you came to me like, what you want to do? Like you got to make a decision. And I was leaning towards Riverside, but you know, I had Big Nick over there. It was just a better environment for me to play D1 and YC. Mm -hmm. So I left Riverside, kind of did them wrong, I guess, and I played with Yah. But playing Riverside junior year, that was a good year for me, breakout year. I got a lot of opportunities, offers that year. I was blowing up my junior year. Right. But how, how much winning y'all did? I believe y'all went right. pretty far on the UAA circuit, correct? Went, went all the way to the finals. All, all the way to the finals. Who y'all who y'all lost to? Illinois Wolves. He was not beating them. Man, so another game. Pile up where you when you make it to the chip game. What do you think you could have done differently? Or y'all could have done differently collectively to, to get that title? To be honest, nothing. Nothing? Y'all feel you feel like y'all left it all out there? Uh the coaching was a little bad, I feel like, because, well, 
my best teammate, I feel like, like getting a bucket, Mo Odom. Mm -hmm. And I feel like he just entrusted everything into him like way too much. Like, mm -hmm. get the ball, Mo, go, score. Like, that's not really offense. Like, what they were doing was Duke stuff. Like, it was backdoor cutting. Every time we came up to court and we call in a play, they're like, oh, stab your screen. Like, they just, they watched us. They studied us. There was no one in that game. We didn't do that. We didn't. So, how much did y'all lose ball? 16. First time we got chopped by 30. Because we played them in, like, Dallas. Mm -hmm. Got chopped by them by 30. They just don't miss any threes at all. Jordan Shuck, kid. Yeah, your pops had told me about him. Right, bro. He was actually calling me about him that night. Like, like yo, yo, Goose, this kid, <laughs> man. Yo. yo man. You know I play defense. Yeah. I'm in his face like this. Yeah. Shooting and, and I'm taller than him. Shoot around over me. And I, once he made that, I knew that was game. I'm like, that's, that's game. <laughs> Shout out to the annoying bulls, man.